Crime and those who commit it have a habit of dashing our preconceptions. It was 2011 and I was the weekly contracted psychologist at a forensic step-down project. This is a kind of halfway house, helping people to transition safely from a secure environment to a more independent life. The project was set in Laurel House, a large and crumbling Edwardian mansion which stood on a main artery into a busy northern city, hidden from view by a screen of glossy leafed hedges. Most of those driving past would have no idea what, or perhaps more importantly, who, was inside. My job was to carry out psychological assessments and therapies with the residents. These were not your petty criminals. Their convictions ranged from murder and violent assault to sexual offences and arson. What they shared was a high risk of reoffending.